What's up YouTube, this is one of the quick video. We'll take another unboxing, first impressions, and update video. This time it comes from the 2002 release from the House of Lacoste, Lacoste Home. Stay right there. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell for future first impressions videos just like this. So like I mentioned before, this is from the House of Lacoste and a possible candidate for a cheap but good fragrance, Lacoste Pour Homme. So Lacoste Pour Homme from the House of Lacoste is a woody aromatic fragrance released in 2002. The nose behind this fragrance is Claude Durr and it is an eau de toilette concentration. Let's check out the presentation. Alright, here is the box for Lacoste Pour Homme. Uh, as you can see, not too much going on with this box. Uh, we have their signature alligator up here, the name Lacoste. Have a nice gray here. It kind of has a textured gray to it there. Nice silver edges. A little information at the bottom. Uh, other than that, not too much going on with this box. Let's check out the bottle. All right, so here is the bottle for Lacoste Pour Homme. Uh, same as the box. Kind of has the uh, signature alligator there. The name Lacoste says Pour Homme here at the bottom, as you can see. Uh, has the same kind of texture on the cap that the box has, which is kind of cool. Uh, this is a plastic cap. It's very light uh, plastic on the inside and out. Has their gator on top as well. Uh, nice silver brushed atomizer. Uh, not a bad uh, bottle here. Uh, decent looking presentation from the House of Lacoste. All right, so here are the notes for Lacoste Pour Homme. In the top, we have apple, bergamot, grapefruit, and plum. In the mid, we have cardamom, pink pepper, juniper, and cinnamon. And in the base, we round things off with labdamum, musk, rum, sandalwood, vanilla, and cedar. All right, so I've tried quite a few Lacoste fragrances in my fragrance journey, and uh, somehow I've never tried this one. Uh, it's sort of been on the radar, but I just kind of uh, passed it up every time. I did see this one at Marshall's. I think it was around 40 bucks. Uh, I did find this cheaper online, so if I do end up liking this one, I will recommend this one to you. Uh, they'll definitely be a candidate for a cheap, a good fragrance. Uh, but yeah, don't really know too much about this fragrance. I did read the notes before I bought it and really loved some of these notes. I did love the top, which was apple, bergamot, grapefruit. Uh, and plum. I love plum and fragrances. Um, I always love cardamom in the mid. The pink pepper is always nice. There's cinnamon in this, juniper. Uh, the, the top and the mid are perfect right now. And the base has rum, which is nice, sandalwood, van vanilla, and cedar. Um, the majority of the notes sound really, really good. Uh, and I've heard you know a couple of things about this one here and there, but not too much information. So I'm kind of looking forward to trying this one. I'm hoping um, that this is going to be uh, you know a good fragrance for the warmer weather because it is summer right now. Uh, some of those notes do sound like it might be better for the fall or the winter. We'll see. So let's give this one our first impressions. All right, here we go. Clean hand. Pop the cap here. Okay. Spur is okay. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Definitely getting the, like, a creamy woodiness to this. Hmm. Uh, definitely getting the apple, the bergamot, the grapefruit, and the plum. I don't know which one of these I'm getting. I think I can get the apple for sure. But it's definitely fruity. Off the top, this one sort of reminds me a little bit of Ferragamo F Black. If you guys have tried that one before, I did a video on this one years ago. That one sort of reminds me of Chanel Allure. I'm getting sort of the same vibe from this one. I'm getting that same fruity opening with like the warm spiciness. Definitely getting the cinnamon in this. I'm getting all the wood notes, the cedar. I'm getting some of that vanilla. Hmm. Yeah, right now this is a nice fragrance. Uh, it does remind me of Ferragamo F Black, which is sort of ruining this one a little bit for me because I'm not really seeing it, it being an original because it reminds me too much of that one. And I don't know what year F Black came out, so if that one came out first, then okay, maybe they were the uh, originators of this kind of DNA. Now, it's not exact, but it definitely does remind me of that. It has that same um, fruity opening with the warm, spicy woods. And the cinnamons in there give it some spiciness as well. Yeah, right now it's a pleasant fragrance. Uh, again, going to go back to the F Black comparison. So not too much to really say about this one. It definitely is nice. Uh, it's a sexy fragrance. It's fresh. It's warm, spicy, fruity in the opening with all the fr uh, the fruits. I'm definitely getting the apple more than the others. Getting the cinnamon. Getting the woods. Yeah, I mean this is um, not a bad fragrance. It's pleasant. I uh, can definitely see myself wearing this one on possibly a warm day. It doesn't it doesn't really seem like it's that strong. But the composition really lends it to me to be more like a fall fragrance. 
Um, although it's it seems like it's sitting pretty close to my skin right now. Yeah, but not a bad fragrance. Uh, definitely going to give this one a wearing over the next few days and see how it, it wears on me and uh, see if I get any attention from it. And uh, give you guys an update shortly. Talk to you then. All right, well, I'm back with my update for Lacoste Pour Homme. All right, so I spent a few days with this fragrance, and I must say I do like this fragrance. Uh, going back to the first half of the video, it really does remind me of F Black uh, by Salvatore Ferragamo and a little bit of Chanel Allure. Um, so Allure was released in 1999, so this one came out a few years after that. Uh, F Black was released in 2009, so that was way after this one was released. Um, so I'm not really sure if they're trying to do maybe a takeoff of Chanel's creation. Uh, they're not exact by any means, but they do um, kind of have some characteristics that are the same. Uh, but I'm not mad at them for that. This is a great uh, composition. Yeah, I really love the apple uh, and the plum in this one. The plum uh, ended up being a lot stronger than the apple. Uh, the cinnamon in this makes it nice and spicy, uh, you know, and woody with the cedar. Um, the cardamom makes it, uh, you know, nice and sexy. The pink pepper gives it a bit more spice. Uh, there's some sandalwood in this for some warmth as well. This is a nice fragrance, guys. And, uh, you know, for the price, I think you're, you might be finding a, you know, decent little hidden gem that doesn't cost very much money. Longevity for this fragrance was about five to six hours. Uh, didn't quite make it through a full work day, uh, but this does smell really nice. Uh, wish it lasted a bit longer. I guess if you want better longevity, maybe uh, wear it on your clothes uh, for you know, maybe a few more hours. But yeah, five to six hours, not that great, but still good for this fragrance. So projection for this fragrance was about one to two hours. Uh, the first hour was pretty strong, and after about an hour and a half to that second hour, it got pretty close to the skin. Still detectable after three, but you know the first two hours, I could really notice this one going. Uh, wish it, uh, you know, project a little bit more. Uh, again, spray your shirt for maybe some better projection. Uh, wish it was a little bit better, but one to two hours for a cheap fragrance isn't that bad. Season for this fragrance, I would lean towards fall and winter, just judging off the composition and the listing of notes. That vanilla note is pretty heavy in this. It's very nice and sweet, warm, spicy, uh, but it's not very strong. Uh, like I mentioned with the longevity and the projection, um, you know, it's it's fairly light. Uh, so I think you can get away with wearing this one in the warmer months. And, and you know, I gotta be honest with you, the warmer months would probably make this one shine a little bit more. Occasions for this fragrance, I'm definitely gonna say it's safe enough for work. Uh, or school. Um, I think it's light enough for casual wear, uh, like if you're just out running errands, you know, throughout the day. Uh, but this one is sexy enough for date night and close quarters. Uh, probably not strong enough for a club, uh, but casual wear and date night for this fragrance would be great. Ages for this fragrance, I'm going to say 18 and up. I think it is uh, sweet enough with that opening, uh, warm spice enough that the younger noses would really appreciate this one. I also think the price lends to a younger audience as well. I found 100 mil uh, with box and cap and everything for about 30 bucks on eBay. Uh, if you just want a tester, I think it just comes with a tester box, no cap, $23 on eBay. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below for those. Uh, but yeah, cheap enough for the younger guys, so 18 and up would be perfect for this fragrance. Overall, I will say this is a cheap but good fragrance. Uh, yes, it has some performance issues, uh, but I think if you add a few more sprays, uh, you should get around that. Uh, other than that, it's a lovely scent. I really like the composition with this one. It did remind me of a couple of other ones, you know, uh, F Black and, and Chanel Allure, uh, but those are great fragrances on their own right, just like this one is its own uh, fragrance in its own right. I think it's good, and definitely for that price, uh, 23 bucks for a tester or 30 bucks for full presentation is a steal for this fragrance. I wouldn't pay any more than that, though. Uh, so if you go to Marshalls and see this one for like 40 bucks, I wouldn't get it. That's what I paid for this one um but yeah good fragrance guys you know maybe just add a few extra sprays and uh i definitely think you should be okay with this cheap but good fragrance so has anyone out there tried lacoste pour Homme from the house of lacoste if you have let me know your experience with this fragrance down in the comments below all right thank you guys so much for watching another video on my channel if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell for future first impressions videos and fragrance related content just like this please follow me on instagram dollars and cents there you can find fragrance related photos and future contest winners. And as always, until the next video, you guys take care. Thanks.